Hey everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fangirl, here to review episode 9 of Dive, two exclamation points. So this was basically Yoichi's time episode, because Yoichi, well, they, he was picked to be in the Olympian, uh, Olympics thing, Alama Terremoto, and they're having him do a, a drink commercial, and that was weird that, like, they, they showed what he could have done, and it was really out of character and weird, and I was like, don't ever do that and I'm glad he's like I don't want to do this stupid commercial it's weird and I'm like yeah it really is but uh he's kind of a backup really for Terramoto with the whole Olympics thing and he's not through the whole episode he's just kind of brooding over it like oh I'm a backup I don't want to do this and he even skips out on practice for a few weeks so he gets rusty and he gets his like when he starts diving again his his back is like completely red and I'm like geez you're like the guy who has who has the the tag name like red back whoever and I'm like okay then but um again just such a Yoichi episode where he just you know his mom was all happy about it his dad when he stopped going to practice his dad wasn't happy about that and then in the end he talks to coach Asaki and she's like hey you know it's your life you can choose your diving so just do it you know do what you want to do it's your life Yoichi yay <gasps> Also, Tomoki, he sent him flowers, and I'm like, boy, that's gay. <laughs> um, he sent him celebratory flowers to celebrate him getting into the Olympics and everything, but I'm like, boy, that's real gay. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, I'm surprised there's no much more gayness in this. I'm like, where's the gayness in this? Because, gosh, sending the dude flowers, like, really? And what are the meaning of orchid or orchids or whatever those flowers are called? I don't know. Like, if there's some deeper meaning, because I know people, they know meaning of flowers, and I feel like if those mean something, then we can go, oh my goodness, maybe Tobin McKee's confessing his undying love. No. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> oh, man, though. And then he had a conversation with him on the phone about the flowers and everything. He's like, you gonna come back to practice? Na, 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 na. And I'm just sitting here like, yeah, again, this is one of those episodes where I'm like, this is boring. Can we just not? Okay. Also, Okitsu is doing ballet. ballet. That's weird. <laughs> That's really weird to help with his, like, back problems. So he's having, you know, therapy done for it, but also ballet. That, I want to see him do that, actually, because he's a pretty tall dude, very muscular dude, and I'm like, him doing ballet. Wow. Who, I'm surprised he was actually talked into doing that, because he doesn't seem like the type at all to want to do that. <laughs> wow. Um, because I could see him be like, no, I'm not going to do that, but he gets forced into it anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, him doing ballet, wow. I just, I can't fathom the thought, you know, still, I'm just like, what? <laughs> but overall, the episode just ends with him, like, uh, Yoichi being like, oh, you know, I'm back at the diving thing, Olympics, yay, fun times, and I'm just like, yay, can this series end now? No, we have, like, three more episodes to go, and then I can stop my suffering, unless it gets a season two, which I highly doubt, because I don't think Japan is liking this anime either, so thank you, because <laughs> it really doesn't need a second season, depending on how this one ends, you know, they might have just, from the start, decided to do a season two, and I hope not, I pray to the Kami-sama that they don't do that, but overall, this episode was, eh, okay, so what do you guys think of it, what do you think's gonna happen next, I don't know, bring back Pinky, please, he's at least entertaining, but anyway, I'll see you guys in whatever uh, I review next, bye!